of the drought situation in the country and we'll go through the entire week as we focus on the drought situation. Now imagine going to school on an empty stomach, having to wait until lunchtime to get your first and sometimes only meal of a day. Safina Cheng brings you the story of the hungry learners of a drought-stricken Marsabit County who've been left desperately dependent on meals from the government school feeding program, which education stakeholders now say is not enough to meet the growing demand. St. Peter's Primary School in Sagante, Jaldesa Ward in Saku constituency of Marsabit County. We find teacher Marco Bruno busy teaching these grade one pupils. Out of a class of 54, only 42 came to school today because of an ongoing assessment exams. The class teacher says that on ordinary days, the number of those absent can be as high as 30. According to the school's head teacher, Solomon Kache, the current food and water crisis, compounded with the perennial problem of insecurity in the vast county, is thwarting their efforts to keep learners in school. Others have even not eaten. Maybe they are unable to listen to the teachers when they come to class. Others, they have not even washed their face, their legs, and you will find them drop from school because they fear to come to school when they have not taken bath for the last two weeks. Many people are running away from rural area for the town so that they will go and live there. As they move, their children also move. The same fate befalls the nearby St. Peter's Mixed Secondary School, which hosts many learners from vulnerable families who are only in school, courtesy of the government's 100% transition program. Absenteeism is so much. When you send a student back because they are, she or he is absent for one or two days, you send them back to call the parents so that you make a follow-up to know what has really happened to the child that the child did not report to school. You will be told by the parents, for the last one week, what do you do? The area MCA, Stephen Sorokatelo, who also chairs the county's education committee, confirms that this is the situation in many schools in the region. Actually, this is replicated in, uh, across, across the, the different schools in the county. Uh, this has caused, you know, learners coming to school late. This has caused dropout, school dropout in some area because the parents are shifting to look for, for pasture, to look for water. So they cannot access the same school that they have used, that they used to access. They cannot afford the school, uh, the school uniform. And learning, I'm sure, if any assessment is to be done today, uh, you know, the success rate, uh, grasping of concepts rate is, uh, is, is, is very difficult. The situation has left many learners desperately dependent on the meals they get in school, courtesy of the government's school feeding program, which now serves as the only meal of the day for many learners in this drought-stricken county. It is for this reason that education stakeholders are calling on the government to consider increasing the food rations to schools in arid and semi-arid areas to cater for the growing demand. Probably the government should uh, focus on seeing the arid and semi-arid areas such that the schools are also supported uh, in the school feeding program or they increase the, 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 the government contribution depending on the area where the schools are situated and having probably uh, done some, some groundwork. I'm right inside the kitchen of uh, St. Peter Sagante Primary School. This is one of the centers where the school feeding program is being implemented. Many learners in this region depend on meals which is offered in places such as this to keep going. For some, this may be the only meal they get in a single day. And as the food crisis in this region continues to worsen, they can only hope for a better tomorrow for their dreams to aspire in life to come true. Reporting for Channel 1 News from Marsabit County, I am Safin Aching Oma.